Welcome to the Garage Build. This is Bubba's Fabrication, where we motivate do-it-yourselfers to do it yourself. And that's exactly what we're doing today. I had a lot of things that needed to move out to my shed just because I didn't have enough space in my garage. So that's exactly what I did. Even with taking a load out to my shed, I still had a lot to move around. Wanted to start on this back wall, and so we're kind of getting everything moved out of the way here. Not a huge fan of sweeping, but somebody's got to do it, right? Tons of cobwebs and dirt on the walls. I just wanted to blow the walls off to make sure that we had a clean surface to start working on. I honestly haven't done any mud work in many years, so some of this was a little bit of a refresher for me. At this point, I decided that it was probably best to kind of start out with the ceiling and make sure that we got that finished first. mud knife here and a 12 inch stainless steel pan worked pretty well throughout the project Sanding is always everybody's favorite thing to do, right? So much sanding on this project. If you decide to tackle anything like this, please invest in a pretty good mask if you can. This trick I learned is pretty cool. Essentially you just wrap the bag around the sides of the box and you can dump it pretty easily into the buckets. We're doing a brocade texture on this ceiling. So I'm kind of just starting out in this corner. Usually I let this set up for 10 or 15 minutes and then I come back to knock it down. To do the knockdown on a brocade, I used like a 14 inch rubber knife. It was almost like a squeegee to be honest. I bought it at the Sherwin Williams store. It worked really well. In the past, I've always used a metal or like a stainless steel knife typically like a 12 or 14 inch. But I really like the rubber, it's a lot more forgiving and you don't get the hard lines in the edge of the knockdown. Turn the lights down, watch them go down. No, I'm never gonna slow down. Turn the lights down, watch them go down. No, I'm never gonna slow down. Turn the lights down, watch them go down. No, I'm never gonna slow down. Turn the lights down, watch them go down. No, I'm never gonna slow down Turn the lights down, watch them go down No, I'm never gonna slow down Turn the lights down, watch them go down No, I'm never gonna slow down Turn the lights down
lights down, watch them go down No, I'm never gonna slow down I'm I decided that it'd be best to take down these shelves. So glad I did that. Turn the lights down. box of texture.
you were wondering, yes, I did cut in with a brush all the primer as well. So this is pretty fun too. This was the chair molding on the back wall that separates the blue and the gray. I went ahead and cut out the edge piece ahead of time and used a pin nailer to basically pin it together. And I used some glue on it as well. I don't want it to come apart. Started at one end, used a level to make sure that the entire thing was level. And this board was actually warped a little bit, so I pinned two areas together and pulled the center to straighten it out and get it level. And I'm also using a stud buddy as I go across this wall and I'm nailing in the areas that I know that are studs just to make it a little more secure. The piece I had also didn't reach all the way across the wall. So I had another piece and I connected them at a 45 degree right at a stud and took it back out to the far side of the wall. across this as well and now it's time to cut in my favorite color at this point all the walls were painted and this is the last color that I needed to do I saved the best for last and the room really transformed at this point and this is my lovely wife just enjoying the company I was enjoying the company as well. I hardly ever use tape, but I decided to, to cut in this bottom line just to make it dead straight. forget the new blinds super excited about these the ones that were in here were completely trashed so we went ahead and replaced both of them with these wood faux wood I think they're like two and a half inch wide blinds and they're cordless they're really nice I'm gonna really enjoy them in here
Final thing was to move everything out of the garage and clean the floor. The floor wasn't the worst that I've seen, but it was definitely pretty messy, so I opted to move everything out and power wash it and scrub it. So that's exactly what we did. A lot of the items in the garage also had a bunch of drywall dust, so while they were outside, many of them got power washed as well before I brought them back in. pretty much done at this point. I know that there's been a lot of time lapse throughout this video, so thanks for sticking around for that, but we are basically done with the garage, aside from a few organization things and the floor, that kind of deal, but essentially this is the back wall. Most of the films that you guys are gonna see are gonna be with this in the background. Uh, we got the workbench here, toolboxes, and a bunch of stuff hung up on the walls. Over on this wall here, there's some organization that's still going to be taking place. I'm kind of working through that right now. But I have some more cabinets that are going to be going up on the walls and things like that. I'm going to be getting a cabinet for this corner and all of the flammable, pretty much everything that's on that shelf now is going to be going in a cabinet. And we've got over here the shelves. Uh, originally, these were twice as long as they are now. But I decided I didn't need all that space here, so we're utilizing this shelf here. And then I actually have a shed that I moved all of the other shelving into. So some of this is actually going to be going um, up on the walls like this will be up on the wall. We're going to refinish this and actually uh, show a video on how to do that. And that will get hung up on the wall and this will get organized a little bit better. We're going over here, we've got the shop press and the jack and then freezer and the safe here as well. So I'm just super excited about this. I am gonna be doing the floor um, here pretty soon. I'm, I'm trying to decide exactly what I wanna do with the floor, but I'm just super excited to have this, obviously. We did the chair uh, rail on the wall with the gray on the bottom and the blue on the top. This wall over here is kind of on the, I don't know, south side of the house, that's gray. And then we've got the two walls, like where the garage is, and on the wall with the windows, which would be the north side of the house, are white. It's kind of an off-white color. And then as far as the texture goes, this is called the Santa Fe texture. It's pretty smooth. Pretty smooth texture that we did, but I really like it. I just wanted it to be a semi-gloss and fairly smooth so that if I did need to wipe something off the wall, I can do that. I'm pretty excited about that. We replaced the blinds in here with the two or two and a half inch uh, faux blinds. They, they're semi-blackout, so they can get pretty dark when needed to, and that way I can control the light for the videos and things like that. Pretty excited for that. And yeah, so pretty much all of it is complete. I'm excited to be sharing this space with you guys and we're going to be doing so many tutorials and, and things of that nature so tune in uh, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more videos in this garage and we're going to be doing a ton more in here as well so super excited to have this space and glad that you guys were able to watch the journey.